So if you're interested in any of these or you want me to make you one, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to make you one. As far as where do I get my crystals, unfortunately, I haven't found a seller that I feel comfortable enough in recommending. I've had, I have had some issues with some of the sellers. So I just, at this moment, I can't, I can't recommend a seller for you guys. If you are interested in doing this, to go on your own and buy the crystals. Now, if you could recommend one to me, I would appreciate it. This project here was with Michael's or one of the craft stores crystals. So for the project that I had to do at the time, it was fine. But for doing bulk things like this, where I use a lot of stones, it's not economical to go to Michael's. I'd rather buy wholesale, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, um, I, I love everything that I did. I love everything. I would probably say one of my favorites is this gunmetal one. These are on, obviously, the higher end. I have fallen in love with a lipstick that was not high end. Wet n Wild lipstick from from the Halloween collection and it is here it is now I went ahead and these are just regular rhinestones because I figured you know this is so cute I love it but it's just so cheap looking let me turn on the light so you could probably see it better now this is just so cheap looking when you buy it. You know, there you have it, wet and wild, right? So cheap looking. Well, anyway, here's the one that I fell in love with. It's kind of like a pinkish nude. And I used to hate nude, guys. I used to hate him. And that is in Sweet Cream. So that's what that one looks like. So I did more. I went out and I bought more and this is sweet cream as well but this is with the smaller blingier rhinestones this one is gonna be up for sale it's obviously gonna be more economical than a MAC lipstick and that's what it looks like that's what the casing looks like. I think it looks so cute and gorgeous. I mean, this, you could be like, pull it out and, you know, it's cute. So that's that one. Um, I've got more. This one is Sunset Siren. And this is the color. It's a bold red. This one I did in different size rhinestones. If you prefer the sleeker look, so here they are. These are the rhinestones. This is the smaller one. This is the, mix the mixture of both. Another one that I am in the middle of finishing, I have not because I'm waiting for more rhinestones to come in so I can fill in that gap right there. But I think it just, don't you guys think that it makes it look better? <laughs> this is Rose to Fame. And I leave that clear so you can see the color. <laughs> the gloves aren't helping me in this, but I just don't wanna risk anything. This is another pretty nudish color. So I should finish this pretty soon. Just waiting for the smaller rhinestones. So of course I had to make one of those in my all time favorite gun metal. And this is Latte. Again, I'm doing everything upside down. I'll leave that clear. Now doesn't that look so freaking cute? Um, I love it. 
I think it's so cute. I could pull this out or have an edgy look to my makeup. And that's what it looks like. And I'll do all of those without light now, so see? Okay, so if you're like out and about on the restaurant, you can pull it out. And, and I thought that that makes them look better. Now, if you want to mix and match. Yeah, no, I don't like that. <laughs> but if you do, hey. I really do love this gunmetal look. Look, and this looks cute too. And these are up for sale, so let me know if you're interested. Look at the info box and uh, contact me. I have other colors. There is actually a way for you to take out the lipstick and put in another one. I haven't done it. I'm not going to tell you guys how to do it. I don't want to assume that responsibility at all. But I'm pretty sure there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. I would maybe say to practice on a cheap lipstick. I don't know how comfortable you guys feel about that. But, yep, that's what I got to say. And this is what I've been up to. And a whole bunch of other stuff. But that's for another day. Thanks for watching. Bye.